What is up, y'all? It's the Eric B, your stream teach here. And when things don't work the way you expect them to, it can be a little disappointing. <laughs> and if you update to the latest and greatest version of OBS Studio, which is 28, you will realize that your stream deck doesn't work and you get this error message. You're in luck because I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Class is in session. Click OK on that and we're going to close that out. Now, there is a link in the description and it will lead you to this page. Depending on your operating system, you're going to click on the download for that. Mine is Windows, so we're clicking on that. And then I'm going to run this file. I'm going to click next through this. And I will accept the terms after reading them, of course, really fast. I don't even have to scroll down. I'm that fast. And then we are going to click next again in our default OBS Studio location. And then we will click install. Once that installs, we're clicking finish. And then we're gonna click on the following link to download the OBS Studio plugin. And once that's downloaded, we will open that up. This window is gonna pop up. We are going to say yes, install. And because I already have this installed, I get this message. So then we're just gonna open up OBS Studio and then we'll test out our stream deck. Something that you'll notice is that the error will still pop up for the stream deck plugin. And that's because we have something that we have to remove, which is the old version of that plugin. And I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds. But first off, let me test it to make sure that when I press a button on my stream deck, my scenes actually change. And now that I've verified that it works, I know that I'm good. Keep in mind, you might have to restart the Stream Deck program to make it work. I did have to do that in between edits just now. If it doesn't work, that's probably your issue. Now, let's make sure that we get one less error message when we open up OBS 28. So what I'm doing now is going into my file explorer and I'm going to this directory because this is the default location for OBS plugins. And once we find these two files, I'm going to delete them. and continue and then I will restart OBS one last time to make sure that we don't get the stream deck plugin error message when I open up the program and there we go one less OBS plugin error message I'll work on this other one if I need to it seems like OBS has an experimental captioner built into the program so I'll have to see how that works out on stream before I work on this Google caption plugin that you see now and it's as simple as that so if you want to see some cool transitions and hear some nice sound effects feel free to check me out at twitch.tv slash the Eric V and if you like the video then like the video class dismissed shout out to Corliss JC Dr. J and Mocha Medics for being tier 3 patrons There's nothing you got it, Haley. You got it, Haley. Oops. I can only really go in two directions. 